Let's bring in Mike DeCourcy now. The Hall of Famer joins us to talk about this. And, Mike, uh, you've written an article already about this. We've seen former great players come back to coach at their school. The results haven't been consistently great. What are your thoughts on Juwan Howard going back to Michigan? Well, I think that it, it all comes down to how he approaches this. And the, the, the one who is the most obvious success story of all the guys who've tried this is Fred Hoiberg. And Fred was very wise about how he built his coaching staff. He went into this understanding. Look, I know basketball. He'd, been, he'd played in the NBA. He'd been an executive in the NBA. He knew basketball. That's not the problem. The problem is college. Being a college coach, what else goes along with that? Uh, what else goes along with being a head coach that he hasn't done before? So when Fred went to Iowa State, he kept T.J. Otzelberger, who's now the UNLV head coach, on his staff, T.J. was an ace recruiter, had a great rep, had done a great job there, brought in great players, kept him. Uh, and then he went out and hired Bobby Lutz, who'd been a terrific coach at Charlotte and, and, and was uh, at that time, I believe, out of work and, and said, you know, come and teach me what it is to be a college head coach. And, and it worked out beautifully. We saw, you know, Fred has had really almost all of the success in this, in this, in this space of uh, uh, former players who go back to, to, to coach in college without NBA, without, excuse me, without college assistant experience. He's had almost all the success that's been had. So I would follow his template without a doubt. Mike, what is the best thing Juwan Howard brings to the head coaching job at Michigan? He's been to where everybody wants to go that is a player. There's no question about that. You see it now more than ever. Uh, uh, they want to get there, and they want to get there quickly. And what's interesting is that Jawan, maybe in, in today's era, he would not have stayed three years, but he did. And he lasted 19 years in the NBA. Those two things are not entirely unrelated. The, I, he, he can get those guys to understand the value of college basketball development in a way that not a lot of people can, because he went through that exact experience. His teammate, Chris Weber, very wisely left in two years, became the number, I believe, the number one overall pick in his class. But Jawan and Jalen Rose stuck around an extra year, made another, made another Elite Eight, uh, developed more, and then when they got to the NBA, they were both ready to make an impact. So he can communicate that to today's players in a way that Michigan's roster clearly tells you they need to hear it. Because when a guy like Jordan Poole goes... Uh, as quickly as he went uh, with, it, with the experience he had, that tells you that some guys need the message that it's okay to stick around until you're ready to go. Always good talking to the Hall of Famer. Mike DeCourcy, thank you, sir. Thank you, Michael.